your next act is another uh, local boy. I've seen him perform a number of times. He's a very funny man. Please welcome to the stage. Go nuts again. Go nuts again. Last time I said that, there was an Asian chick in the front row. Didn't I feel like it did? Well, I'm supposed to get up here and give you five minutes and make you laugh. Sounds like my last route. <laughs> I'm just kidding, there's no way I could last five minutes. <laughs> Can't afford the nose of the delivery spray. You know the difference between a stand up comedian and a smart ass? Stand up comedians don't get punched in the head. And how understanding of the mums on washing powder commercials these days? Oh, Mum, I've got greasy pants on my jeans. Oh, Mum, I've got mascara on my favourite shirt. If I did any of that shit, mate, I wouldn't be alive today. <laughs> See, Mum's from Scotland, for those people who don't know, if you've ever seen a Scottish person on television, they're the ones speaking English. Down the bottom, you've got subtitles. <laughs> Mum's from a real rough part of Scotland called Glasgow. To remind herself of home, she gets pissed and <laughs> herself. <laughs> Anyone here listen to Triple J? Yeah! Hey, a couple of hippies up the back. I heard a statistic on Triple J the other day that said the closer you live to a pub or a bottle shop, the more likely you are to be the victim of an assault. Well, I live upstairs from a bottle shop and across the road from a pub. I'm fucked. <laughs> I don't go out anymore. It's one of the rare occasions you'll see me. Everything I eat is delivered. Chinese, pizza, Indian. I worry about the job, but I think fuck him, he's insured. <laughs> so, uh, if you're not learning some kind of martial arts or self-defence these days, you're asking for it, mate. It's a society we live in and the government lets this shit happen. I was off to Sydney the other day, so I thought I'd check the weather report. It said warm and sunny with a chance of stabbing. <laughs> Don't you hate the way how they always use the word allegedly in news reports? A man was remanded in custody today after allegedly stabbing another man. Well, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm going to break it down for you. If this bloke over here's got a knife, and this bloke over here's got a hole in him that shouldn't be there, that's a fucking stabbing. <laughs> uh, I'm actually a mechanic and I do a couple of jobs for bar. Um, fixed this bloke's car last week, he fixed me the TV aerial. Best one I've got, I fixed this chick's car and she fakes me shit. Now, fake goods are like currency to a single bloke, I'll give you the mark. <laughs> I'd go so far as to say that fake goods, as good, if not better than a blowjob. <laughs> I'll give you a couple of reasons why. Number one, it lasts longer. <laughs> Number two, neither of us are left with a bad taste in our mouth. <laughs> I've got a feeling this is going to come back and haunt me in a couple of years. I'm going to tap the missus on the shoulder a bit and she just says, hang on, sweetheart. Here's a muffin. <laughs> So uh, times are changing. Remember when you were a kid and you used to be able to go to the shop for five bucks and you come back with half the store? Mars bar, bubble bill, mixed lollies, collector cards, and some change. You can't do that anymore. Too many fucking security cameras. <laughs> so uh, I've got this mate who comes over and has a beer with me after work and that, and he always fucks up his sayings. Like, he's come in the other day, I mean, and he goes like, man, you, you gotta, I've got to tell you this, I've got to tell you this, has this bloke come into work today? Gay as the ace of spades. What the fuck is that? First thing I started thinking was, I can't wait to play cards with this prick. <laughs> he'll be halfway there to a royal flush and I'll be able to tell, because he'll be like, there's the fucking poof of cards. <laughs> The other thing he does is, uh, that I don't really appreciate too much, is he compliments me on my clothes. I'm going out the other night, he's like, nice shirt. You know, I don't mind it coming from a chick, but I'm not really into it from a bloke. The only time I'm comfortable hearing nice shirt from a bloke is when it's followed by the statement, when the fuck am I getting it back? <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, bought me dad a GPS for Father's Day. Then I remembered he's been dead for five years. Oh, it's a thought that counts, you know. Could go and put on his grave so I could get old pretty quick. You have reached your final destination. <laughs> so I decided to keep it. And uh, you can pick which voice you want, so I picked the Swedish chick. The Swedish chicks are hot. Let me tell you, she's got the sexiest voice ever. 
it's not much good to me because I can't understand a fucking word of Swedish. <laughs> so uh, I picked the Australian chick, and her name's Karen. Let me tell you, she's way too posh to be an Aussie. She looks like she's a rose bay, drinks Chardonnay. I want it to be Shazza from Windale, and she drinks Goon. <laughs> yeah, up here, a couple of telly bowls, fucking turn left, eh? <laughs> oh, you missed the turn, you dickhead. <laughs> Go off here a bit and chuck a yui. <laughs> Stop looking at the tits and concentrate on the road, you're gonna have a fucking stack. So, uh, I suppose you're aware, Facebook made a few changes a couple of weeks ago, weeks ago everybody lost their fucking mind. I'm here to give you the money, don't have to worry. Right? As of January next year, Google, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook are amalgamated to form one website. As of 1st of January next year, they will now be known as Go You Twitface. <laughs> Seriously, how good is Facebook? I have never poked so many chicks in my life. <laughs> Some of them even poke back. Usually they just, usually they just lie there. <laughs> Due to statements like that, I'm still single. <laughs> and I've decided it's because I've been going for the wrong type of chick, so I'm going up market. Set myself a couple of rules and I'm sticking to them. Next chick I go out with has to have at least two things. Shoes and teeth. <laughs> so I'm at a bar the other night talking to this hottie, she might have thought it was a bit weird. I started doing these ones. Said, nice shoes, they yours. You got a receipt? <laughs> Who's your dentist? <laughs> she fucked up and said, I'm a lesbian. That's magic, so am I. <laughs> Only do it with women, I don't mind if other women join in. <laughs> and the girlfriend come and punch me in the head. <laughs> I guess I'm still a smart ass. <laughs> so, uh, I want to see Lindsay Lohan back in the shit again, off the job. Only in there for six hours and back out because they couldn't keep her. Best story I've heard about Lindsay Lohan, she got punched in the head at her own birthday party. <laughs> I haven't got any jokes about it, I think that's just piss my <laughs> Birthday, fuck you. <laughs> uh, I've seen um, Amy Winehouse has gone and joined the 27 Club. Like, you know, you've got Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain, they're all members. You know the only thing I'm dirty at? We've got to wait 10 fucking years before Justin Bieber's eligible for membership. <laughs> Got his new movie out, you know. I will never say never. Well, you just said it twice, you fuck with. <laughs> <laughs> I heard him in a promo interview for his new movie where Justin Bieber reckons he's the modern day Kurt Cobain. And I think that's tops. All we gotta do now is hook him up to the smack dealer and lend him a shotgun and the rest will sort itself out. <laughs> I'm glad you guys have been fantastic. Thank you very much.